Hey, this is Lana and I wanted to do a video for you on room tours. Uh, I ended up doing a whole bunch of changes before the beginning of this year and after, and I've had to change up my environment quite a bit. I love these kind of videos because it resets the, t the workspace, it makes you walk in different, it refreshes everything. I'm not sharing like the mess that was created to change the rooms, but kind of the end result, which those are fun, right? I'm also gonna share that I didn't spend any money other than one item that's gonna be at the end of the video. I really just used what I had already. All right, let's do this. All right, let's talk about the first room. It is the room in my back house that I had all my embroidery in. I ended up getting the laser in the beginning of this year and so I had to just kind of figure out where to put it. I thought this laser was a pretty small laser, but no, she's a big baby girl. <laughs> she's a big foster child. And so I really had to work the room to make sure that it was in a place where I could work well and where it didn't overcrowd everything. So let's share that room. It's like a little pulpit my son-in-law gave me, which I love. You're able to, I'm gonna store wood and materials here. I may do another shelf somewhere. Here I have my notes, but I have everything for the laser here. I'm gonna have my Mac laptop right there so that when I'm scanning in designs is close to the machine. It's here in the corner. I found putting like my bench pin and jewelry table in a corner, kind of like on the opposite end of the laser, that it was a great workspace for me to still be able to do my jewelry. Just recently I married a couple and ended up making them wedding bands. It was such a pleasure. I learned so much and it was neat. I've never sold my jewelry or used my jewelry in any fashion like that, but it was neat to be working in that area for long periods of time making something for a purpose other than for myself, you know what I mean. <laughs> Soldering stuff in this corner. Let me show you earrings I made. Look at those. Aren't those beautiful? I poly I made these three months ago, but I finally got the ear stuff on them. But that's what this is for, to make my jewelry. I also made myself this ring, this rose gold one. I have a sitting kind of nook right now for this area. I think that looks good, right? Kind of. My baby's sitting in there and then... Now the embroidery area. It's kind of like a mess at this current time because I'm trying to figure everything out. But this is what I thought would work. But this is what my embroidery mess looks like. No judging. Because <laughs> it's bad. And here is my embroidery section how this room looks like. I'm going to get a huge toolbox that's gonna to go all the way across this space and I'm gonna have my machines on there because this machine I don't use currently because if I shake it or use it, this trolley thing is worthless. And I'm gonna move probably this big one in this corner. And now we're talking about this space right here. All I did that made this space different is the table that I used to have downstairs in the embroidery room. I brought it over here. It's the IKEA uh, table cover with the Alex drawers. I took it from back there and I brought it in here. The big wooden table that I used to have in here for years, it's like a picnic table. I had to find a table that could be able to handle the weight of the laser. Now the table was wide enough, but it wasn't as, um, it was wide enough, right? But it didn't have the depth that I needed. So it's a little bit short, but the laser just sits there beautifully, so I left it alone. And so all I did is move tables, moved a table in, moved a table out, and put uh, another table to make this room what it is now. I didn't purchase anything, I didn't do anything, just kind of switched tables. <laughs> all right, I wanted to do a video on how I changed this space, which I'm in love with. Ignore all of this. This is for the sweet honeybee that I'm going to do. I'm kind of getting everything prepped. We have about 10 or 10 birthdays we're celebrating. So this is my cutting area. Before I had a white table here and I moved the white table to the opposite side. And so now I have a designated cutting area, which before I didn't, um, usually I'd have to pull out the mat. And I uh, can also use this area for my ironing. 
And so I put all my IKEA <clears throat> with my drawers. My floor is a little bit messy because I was working. We're gonna ignore her. We need to get Gary to work. So of course this is still the same. I still need to go through here. So before I didn't have a space for my serger and I want to use it more. I've been using it to, to make the covers for my featherweights. I want to do a review on here on it because I really love it. <clears throat> so I have my drawers. Now I have I have two seating areas. So if I want to have a friend and I come and sew, we have two areas where we could sew now. And I also have, I could get a chair and another friend can sew here. So if I want to have like a mini gathering, we have that. Yuki 210Q. And then I have the drawers. A lot of them are empty because I used the bins. I have reorganized all my bins. So if you open one of my bins, it's nice and clean. <laughs> Seriously. So for example, in here I have two projects. Up here is where I had a significant change. You know those books that I bought at the Houston Quilt Show? I have them all here where I could grab them easily. My sketchbook and my pens so I could start practicing and I can find them. Here are my writing books and extra like cardstock. And here are my pattern books. I don't have a lot of pattern books, but here are some of them. But they're organized by type. For example, these are piecing. Down here are, are crochet and something different. And over here are like quilting. And I have some Hoffman stuff. But I have all of this in here where it's easy to grab and go. My marking tools. Kind of need to reorganize this a bit better but i even cleared out all the mess that was there this is how it looks but look at my little featherweights they're out and they're beautiful and my beautiful flowers someone gave me all right we're gonna go back downstairs in the embroidery area you know where i have my embroidery i really didn't like the way the embroidery looked in that space so i was talking to my husband and my son about getting a toolbox you know those big giant toolboxes where you put everything in and we found one at Home Depot it's 72 by 28 I believe it's 32 inches tall which was perfect we found this one for $800 and some change in total it came out to $1,200 to purchase this toolbox now let me just say this it is beautiful um, I am so glad about this purchase, but let me show you what it makes the room look like now. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I want to show you how this room looks. I've done a lot of changes and I have a client, a couple clients work. But what I want to share is this beautiful, beautiful toolbox. This is 72 by, I think it's 24. And it fits my embroidery machines so beautifully. Really long drawers. And this is a messy drawer because I need to go through everything. I was, um, this is a huge long drawer. I'm trying to organize it still. Um, I have a power plug on this side. So when I need to use this to remove stitches, I can literally just plug in and I don't have to find a plug. And um, the drawers are humongous. Still need to organize it, so excuse the mess, but I'm also doing a job right now. So in here, they have these big giant drawers for all the frames for the embroidery machines. For this machine, I have all my fast frames. For this machine, I have two of them. One time I was doing a job and it was when you only have one fast frame, you can only use one machine. The placement cards. But for this machine, it also has a fast frame. For making stencils. And these are just extra. 
But what I want to show you is these big giant ones on the bottom. It holds all your hat frames for the machines. These are really hard to store and really hard to find a place for them. And this is just like perfection. I have two sets in here, a set for this machine that I need to still calibrate. But look how beautiful everything fits in there. It fits up to two hat frame hoops. In this drawer, it fits all my stabilizers. Now, of course, I could use the other drawer, but if it's all tear away, cut away, water soluble. I also used to do crystals, crystal shirts, and I have the material in the back right there for the crystals and then the other stuff let me see it has the hat hoop frame has the crystals and that has the air compressor because i like painting fabric and it, that hat hoop frame goes to this machine love this thing i never knew i didn't think about if it would work i also love if you have problems like arranging your hoops these ikea things work the heat press vinyl looks so beautiful and I could draw it out. Some storage here. I really do thank you for watching my room tour videos. Please consider being part of this channel. Subscribe, join. I just really appreciate you even considering taking time of your day to watch me. Appreciate you and I love you in the Lord. All right, I'll do another one soon, I promise. Sooner than later. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have a good day.